In this video, we're going to look at the main timescales and rulers in Pro Tools. Every Pro Tools session has both a main timescale and a sub-timescale. The main timescale takes precedence, and its time format is the one used for transport functions, making selections, and setting grid and nudge values. The sub-timescale is just there to provide an additional timing reference. If the main timescale is set to minutes and seconds, timeline locations are represented in minutes and seconds relative to the start of the session. On the other hand, if the main time scale is set to bars and beats, timeline locations are represented in bars, beats, and ticks relative to the start of the session. There are three ways to set the time base for the main counter. The first is to go to the View menu and select Main Counter, and then choose one of the available time bases. The second is to select the time base from the Main Time Scale pop up menu. The third is to click on the ruler name for the desired time base. If the counter for the sub time scale is not visible, you can select Show Sub Counter from the main time scale pop up menu to display it. There are two types of rulers in Pro Tools time base rulers and conductor rulers. The time base rulers include bars and beats, minutes and seconds, time code, feet and frames, and samples. The conductor rulers include tempo, meter, key, chords, and markers. You can customize the edit window to display only the time base and conductor rulers that you want to see. There are several ways you can do this. The first is to go to the View menu and choose Rulers, and then select or deselect rulers to show or hide them. Another option is to click the Ruler View selector and select or deselect there. You can hide a currently displayed ruler by either option clicking on the Mac or alt clicking on Windows and clicking on the ruler's nameplate. Note that the ruler that currently corresponds to the main timescale cannot be hidden. You also have the option to reorder the display of the rulers by clicking directly on the ruler's nameplate and dragging it up or down. So that's a basic overview of the timescales and rulers in Pro Tools.